Having a smart home is all the rage right now, and believe me, I'm really into it myself. One of my favorite things about having a connected home is the comfort of knowing what's going on with your house while you're away. Unfortunately, these things come at a price, and most of those prices are very expensive. Guardzilla aims to help you with that and also help you save some money. Their all-in-one security system is feature-packed and budget-friendly. It comes in this rather large plastic box with a ton of features and specifications listed on it, and the camera itself is kind of in a plastic display case, and I will be honest, it's not really the most discreet looking thing in the world. Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today is our first episode of the Smart Home Tech for under $100, and we're going to take a look at the Guardzilla All-in-One Video Security System coming in just at the top of our budget at $99. So let's get into it. Cutting the tabs and removing the plastic case is where you'll find your camera itself. Inside the green box underneath is where you'll find your power cord and some setup guides. You also get a sticker letting the outside world know that your house is protected by Guardzilla if you choose to display that. As mentioned earlier, the camera won't win any awards in terms of design, but it's definitely unique as far as cameras go. It's essentially a big plastic triangle with some Guardzilla branding on the front underneath the lens and the LED ring. There aren't a lot of ports on the camera side from the power, but there is a micro SD card slot for memory expansion. This will allow you to save recorded footage directly to your SD card instead of recording the footage and playing it back through your phone, since that option is actually not available. It would be nice to have the ability to play stored footage through your phone, but we'll take the SD card slot. The back has a 100 decibel speaker, which is one of the main features of Guardzilla's security system. I tested it off camera because it is insanely loud. It will scare the pants off anyone trying to break into your house, or at the very least attract some attention to your house from anyone outside. Setting up the camera with the app is super simple. It takes about 5 minutes, and all you really need to do is follow the on-screen instructions. The Guardzilla app is what you will use to control the camera. This isn't the most beautiful app in the world either, but it also has a ton of features that I'm honestly surprised you get for $100. Keep in mind that a drop cam, or now called the Nest Cam, is $200 and it's essentially the same thing as what you're getting with the Guardzilla camera. Inside the app you will find your basic functions like arm disarm, monitor, activity log, your settings, a panic option, and your camera list. Most of these, like the arm or disarm for example, are pretty self-explanatory. Monitor is where you'll access your live camera feed, and Activity Log allows you to capture screenshots and videos for your archive. This is especially useful if someone does break into your house, because now you have the visual proof that you can show the police. Diving into the settings menu, you will find just a couple of settings, but these are all important. In order to receive notifications if any motion is detected, you will need to enable which type of notifications you want. You have the options for email, text, and push, all available for your choosing. With all that said, the notifications are a little too inconsistent for my liking, but hopefully this can be fixed through a software update. You can also set the duration for your siren and toggle it on or off, as well as set up an auto arm setting. Auto arm will turn the alarm on when you leave and off when you arrive. This is only limited to one security camera, however, so if you have multiple, you're going to have to just pick one of them. Finally, the Guardzilla camera is capable of two-way audio communication and also has an infrared night vision mode. All in all, this camera packs a lot of great features and functionality for a very reasonable price. The only downside to me, and this might be a deal breaker to some, is that you are sacrificing resolution quite a bit from other products like a Nest Cam. The camera does not even record in HD, and it doesn't have any advanced features like pan, tilt, or even try to zoom in on what you're looking at. This is a bit of a bummer again, but the price point makes sense for some of these advanced features to be missing. However, I have seen other cameras for a little less money that are at least able to obtain 720p. All in all, if you're looking for a very non-discreet but rather effective security system for your house, this $100 camera just might be your thing. It has plenty of security features and records pretty well to distinguish who might be stealing your stuff. At the very least, the 100 decibel siren might make them deaf and not steal anything, and that might be good enough. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment letting me know what you guys think of the Guardzilla all-in-one video security system. And as always guys, please be sure to be a subscriber so you don't miss videos like this one and other videos that I might have in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.